In my hand, I have a gold necklace to be sold in our forthcoming June jewelry sale. It's a very elegant and supple piece decorated with intricate patterns and beautifully understated. If you look carefully, you can see it's made of various connected links in two-color gold, each in turn made of twisted gold wire. On the clasp, it's struck with the maker's mark of one of the pioneers of 20th century craftsmanship, Georges L'Enfant. Georges L'Enfant had a solid jury background, having studied jury both in Paris, where he worked as an apprentice at big jewelers like Cartier and abroad. From 1909 onward, he registered his own workshop near the iconic Parisian jewelry square Place Vendôme. A few years after, in 1915, his son Jacques joined the business and went on to become one of the most highly regarded jewellers of the 1960s and 1970s, always working under his father's trade name. After the Second World War, L'Enfant took over the workshop of jeweller Verger Frère, well known for its splendid Art Deco Jules. L'Enfant ever-expanding workshop would start a collaboration with Vacheron Constantin, produced watches for Hermès and made smart upmarket pieces for quality houses like Cartier, Van Cleef & Arpel and Melerio. Although L'Enfant manufactured a large range of jewelry, it would become famous for its distinctive use of gold wire work in the 1960s and 1970s. Jacques L'Enfant was interested in different and innovative techniques in producing jewelry and experimented with contrasting patterns and textures. The L'Enfant company produced numerous jewelry designs of variously arranged, braided and twisted chains, often in two-color gold. The twists and turns created an endless variety of intricate patterns with a mix of matte and polished finish. All pieces are characterized by top quality workmanship. Recently, the work of Georges L'Enfant has been rising in popularity. As his jewelry is now vintage, demand always exceeds supply. So it may come as no surprise that we are always honored to present to you these quality pieces at auction.